Here's how to replace the throttle position sensor, or TPS, on a GMC Safari van. This is a 1993 GMC Safari with throttle body fuel injection. You can see I've removed the engine cover. If you need to know how to remove the engine cover, you can watch my remove the engine cover video. Um, so with the engine cover off, the throttle position sensor is right here, on the, just under the uh, air cleaner and intake system. And it's really easy to get to. It's held on by two screws. They're T20 uh, star-headed screws. One, one up at the top here, and one. Let's see if we can get a better view. It's held in by a screw at the top, and then one on the side. So you just unscrew those two, unscrew the electrical connector here, uh, pop it off, and then pop the new one on. I don't have to remove anything else to get at it. It's real easy. Um, you can also check its voltage. I'm not entirely sure how to check its voltage. I figure it's 20 years old, so I'm just going to replace it. But um, if you're testing it, you want to hook up a meter to the electrical connectors here on it, and then get a reading of 0.5 volts with the throttle closed, anywhere from 0.5 volts to 1.2 volts with the throttle closed and then it should read five volts with the throttle wide open and kind of smoothly fluctuate between the two when you test it. I don't know exactly what wires to hook it up to. My manual is kind of crappy on that subject, so I just decided to replace it. That way I'll know that it's new and it's not the problem. First, I unhook the electrical connector. There's a little lock piece on the front here that you just move out of the way with your hand and pull it up. Pop, and it makes a pop sound. And then from there, we just go in there with this uh, screwdriver. Now I'm able to get the screwdriver around the, the map sensor bracket without a problem and get the mounting screw off so I didn't have to remove anything else other than the TPS. Like I said, this might be the easiest, easiest thing to get at and fix on the van, except maybe a flat tire. Uh, and undo the front bolt. And then just pop it, pop it out. And if we take a close-up look, you can see it's it's keyed. It has a, these little bumps that grab onto this little shaft here. Get in close. You can see the little little shaft right there that it grabs onto to tell the computer what position the throttle is in. And of course, we want to compare the the new one to the old one. So looks like the same deal. Now it does have a seal. The new one did not come with a seal. You can see there's a little uh, little rubber seal around it here. So I'm just going to take that off and put it onto the new one. I, think, I suppose a smart person would uh, actually buy a new seal, but uh, we'll see if it works. Just recycling the old one. The old one looks like it's in decent shape. And we put it on. Put it on in the same position as the old one. Oh, lovely. It's a good time to mow the lawn, I guess. And then we just put the screws back in, and we are done. And they weren't in there very tight, so I'm just gonna torque them down until they feel tight, but not over torque them. Things made out of plastic, so I don't want to break it. So those are tight. Now we just need to get the electrical connector here back onto the unit here. Make it click. There we go. Then we put the key in the ignition and see what happens. Gotta close the door so you can hear it over the lawnmower. So. Yep, success. So that works. That's it, throttle position sensor installed. Thanks for watching.